Hello heathens, you asked for a home gym workout and here we are in my home gym. I made it myself, put it together, got some wheels, I found just everything I could find around the house in a garage, anything really because now that the corona, yeah, the corona is going on so I can't go to the gym anymore, everything is closed. So, you know, but I'm not going to give up on my gains, I'm not going to stop working out because I have to move, I've got ADHD, it's severe, and if I don't move I'll go insane. I also work like, I go for a one and a half to two hour walk every single day with my dog just to keep active, uh, like going in the woods. Uh, but then I also have to combine with doing some strength workouts because I want to build muscle and I'm sure if you're watching this video you do too. Just a disclaimer before this all begins, I'm not certified in any way, shape or form. I have not trained uh, for very long. This is purely based on what I like to do, what I've found works for me, based on research I've done myself. I do suggest that you do your own research as well and when you look up like exercises you should do that besides this video as well. Just use this as inspiration maybe. Like look up proper form for those exercises and in general proper form for when you work out when you do strength training strength strength <laughs> training because you know you don't want to hurt yourself because then you might have to take even more time off and just yeah stay safe because we don't want you to hurt yourself so let's get on with this shall we here you have my home gym i'm pretty happy with it so far i it's not very advanced or anything but i used what i could find and then I just got on with trying out some exercises based on what I know. The pullover you see here can be used as both a back and chest exercise. It depends on where you really activate your muscles. Here I use it as a chest exercise where I superset it with some plate presses to activate the triceps. For a lot of shoulder exercises you can really just use whatever you've got lying around and this goes for every other exercise as well. Just use whatever weights you've got lying around. You don't need dumbbells, you don't need barbells, you don't really need anything. So here I use a wheel from my dad's car. Make sure you keep your wrists tight and you don't hurt your wrist when you do exercises like this. Uh, this goes for this exercise as well, the bench press, but really do make sure that you don't hurt your wrists in the process because using a grip like this can be a bit dangerous. Just letting you all know, so be careful if you feel any sort of pain during these exercises and also look up proper form for your wrists and everything when you do these lifts. I don't want to hurt any of you. Uh, this exercise, the pull-up, is a great exercise for your back. As you can see, I'm not very strong yet, so after I can't do any more repetitions, whether they are underhand or wide grip, I just jump up and then keep myself there for as long as possible, and then on my way down, I try to go as slowly as possible to build up strength one way, because you're gonna build up strength over time. You've probably seen this exercise before, it's just a dip really, like a bench dip, but I use my wheels here because they are more stable than my bench. This is a really good exercise, uh, but if it's too easy for you, you can just add some weight, like add a plate to your lap and then keep going. And of course the push-up, as you can see I'm struggling a bit, but you can do them in various levels, higher or lower, and also just try to lower yourself slowly to the ground as you do with the pull-up, if that's a struggle for you. Dumbbell rows are really good for your lats and that builds width on your back, uh, but also you can do some plate rows like here. I like to combine this with plate shoulder presses, uh, it works well for me and it's a bit more fun than just doing the same repetition over and over again, especially at my home gym here I don't have many weights so it gets a bit tiring to for example do 90, 100 or even more reps of the same exercise. For every 10 reps after the rows I do one repetition of the plate press, so at 10 I do one, at 20 reps I've done I do 2, 30, 3, 40, 4, etc. Doing front raises like this is really good for developing the front of your delts, which is going to give you more rounded shoulders. Developing your shoulders, especially if you are like a trans guy, is going to give you more width on top of your body and give you that director shape. Developing your back, shoulders, not just, you know, your arms, is going to give you more of that masculine shape. Here you've got dumbbell shoulder presses. It's basically the same thing as the thing I did with the wheel, but you get more range of motion here. So if you got something you can use as dumbbells do that but of course there might be some limitations as to how heavy you can go then. For more of a challenge you can do alternating dumbbell presses like I do here. I really like this one I got this idea from Sahara Fit. Down below I'm going to link down a lot of my inspirations for 
all my exercises just so you can sort of see my mentors or the people I look up to for finding exercises because of course I haven't made up these exercises myself I found interest, inspiration one way or another from other people online so of course all credit goes to them for one way or another teaching me how to stay safe and you know build muscle to develop my physique I also like to include shrugs like I do here they're so good and if you can go heavy it's amazing leaning a bit forward sometimes helps activate them more you know just try out a few different positions with like leaning a bit forward or not just straight up as well and see what works for you but always keep your back straight don't turn shoulder and you know have a good posture there are so many variations you can do of the curl in order to build your bicep hammer curls regular curls using wheels for example or plates there are so many variations you can do in order to build your bicep and hitting it from different angles is really good for developing proper arms. I absolutely despise ab work. I hate it. Core work, ab work, just in general. I hate it because it burns, it hurts, like in a different way from all other exercises when I do those. So I tried to make it more fun and I used a skateboard here to balance and just do some Pilates inspired exercises sort of. Pilates as well is something I love to do in order to build a stronger core. It's underrated for building a strong core honestly i get so tired from doing pilates so you should look up some pilates exercises as well but here are the exercises that i like to do in my home gym Staying true to my love for working out in a gym is the squat. You can do this in so many different ways, so you should look up different variations of it online in order to activate different parts of your legs. But here we've got just regular plate squats because I don't have a barbell here, but uh, yeah, just to put some more weight on it. Here, another exercise for your back. Really, if you've got a towel, if you've got a jumping rope, anything that can give you resistance, you know, wrap that rope around your hands and then with your leg, give some resistance. Do the same exercise basically as you would with any other weight, but then you can adjust the resistance yourself, like adjusting the weight, which is really genius. I saw it on Joe Stenix last night and I thought, you know what, that's amazing. This exercise is really good for your core right here. I don't know if there's a name for it. I just like to combine exercises sometimes to make them more challenging. I do hope this video is helpful. In no way is it complete. It's not perfection in any way. Like I said in the beginning, uh, I am not trained. I'm not a personal trainer at all. This is just what I like to do. It, this is an improvised home gym and I'm just trying to get some, you know, some good workouts in while I can and while I'm, you know, quarantined during this, this weird fucking time, you know, corona and everything. So, you know, don't give up. Just because you're stuck at home doesn't mean you can't you know, work out because you can use your body weight, you can use objects you got lying around inside the house, out in the garage, whatever. Just go for it. Really be creative and you can still make gains, you know, don't give up. Uh, there's still hope out there and hopefully this corona shit will be over in, in some time. Uh, just stay safe, you know, don't go out and the social distancing. Yes, eat food, drink water, get some sleep whenever, you know, you have to go to sleep. To the blue fuckies, I love you all and bye. <laughs>